Today we're going to talk about the Halo Scanner Mouse, tips on installing and how to use it effectively. You can download the Scanner Mouse from the CD that it comes with or from the online download. For this example we'll use the online download. The first step is to go to Halo, the number two, cloud.com. Once you're there you're going to want to hover your mouse over the help and support tab and go down to software downloads. Once you're there you'll see the download for the Halo Scanner Mouse for both the Mac operating system and the Windows operating system. For this example, we're going to use the Windows operating system download. Once you click download, you notice a .exe file go to your computer. Let that process through and then open it up when it's completed and it will begin installation. Once that's completed, hit the install button that pops up on your screen. Read through the licensing agreement there to make sure you agree with the terms and conditions. Click that you do agree, and then click the Next button. After this, you'll notice that the installation will begin. The time for the installation does vary based on computer and internet connectivity. At about 75%, you'll notice that there usually is a quick stop, but don't worry, it will push right through to complete. And once that's done, you click Finish, and it will open up the program for you. Once the installation is complete, the scanner mouse application will open up on the right hand side of your screen. Make sure that you have your scanner mouse plugged in and ready to go. At this point, you're going to be able to start the scanning process. You'll notice some different options on the top of the scanner mouse application. The first is the file option, then there's an edit option, and there's an options tab. And if you go to the settings in the options tab, you can adjust a lot of different things through here. In the first settings tab, you can adjust the language, the scan resolution from full to high to medium, to low. You can also take a look at where you want your scanner mouse application windows to appear on the top or to the right of the screen. Some of the other settings you have are the Save tab, the Updates tab, Text Recognition, Proxy Settings, and an Advanced tab. After you've set up your scanner mouse application the way you'd like it, we're going to begin the scan process. To start the scan process, you'll notice on the left hand side of the scanner mouse a lit up blue button. Simply press and release that blue button, and after you do that, you'll be kicked to a black screen. When the black screen appears, you'll notice right away that there's going to be a green box, and in the top left hand corner of your screen, a scan memory line. The green box is your scan box. That's underneath your mouse. As you can see in the demonstration here, I'm slowly just swiping the mouse over the limited warranty that we have for Halo. And as I swipe over it, I'm making sure that the box remains green. If it changes yellow or red, it's going to affect the quality of my scan. On the top left hand side, the scan memory will go down from the right to the left. If that memory completely depletes, you'll no longer be able to scan and the program will automatically kick you to the edit screen. When you've scanned the entire image and you're happy with the way it looks, simply press and release the blue button one more time and we'll go right into the edit screen. The first thing you'll notice on the edit screen is that your scan is surrounded by little white boxes. By simply left clicking and holding it down on one of those boxes, you can crop the image to whatever you'd like it to be. Anything inside of those white boxes is exactly what your scan is going to be at the end of the editing process, so make sure everything in there is what you like and what you want to see at the end of the process. Now that we've finished cropping it, I'm going to press the rotate buttons and make sure our images face up so that we can begin the other editing processes. The next thing we'll talk about is the background editing option. By clicking the backgrounds, you can change what's displayed behind your scan. Remember, only what's inside of those white boxes is what matters, so the background is just for viewing pleasure. The next thing we can talk about is the hue key. If I adjust that, you'll see the colors changing. And then we will have the saturation here. And as I move that around, you can also see that changing. The next thing we have is the brightness, and then we have a contrast bar. So by simply dragging the arrows, I can adjust any of these settings. The last option you have in the editing screen is the eraser feature. By clicking on that and then dragging the arrow, you can increase or decrease the size of the eraser you're going to use. For this example, we'll make it a little bit smaller, 
And to erase things, you simply left click and hold it down to drag across and erase a different part of your scan. For this, I'll erase the bottom portion of our scan here. And once I've completed that, I simply click the eraser button one more time and it gets me out of that editing function. One last thing we'll talk about is if you left click above the scan, you can rotate it manually from right to left or whichever direction you'd prefer. Once you've lined it up completely, just release the left click button. And once you're happy with your scan, on the bottom right, you can click the OK button. From there, you'll notice your scan appear in the Scanner Mouse application. Everything inside the white box is now in that little application for us to view. If you're not happy with your scan, you just simply click the Edit button one more time, and it kicks you right back to that screen. We also have a Quick Copy Image and Quick Copy Text button. If you go to the right a couple more, you can click the Share button, where you can share your image on Facebook, Flickr, Twitter, or through email quickly. And then there's an Apps button, where you can drop it into Evernote, or you can Google Translate your document. The last option is a Quick Save feature. If we click on that, it takes you to the Save As option. And from there, you can see that we're going to rename our file. For this, I'll rename it Limited Warranty. Once that's done, we can select the file type, what we'd like to save it as, by clicking the drop-down menu below. Once we pick the file we'd like, we can save it wherever we'd want. For this example, I'm going to create a folder by simply right-clicking on a white area, scrolling down to New, and clicking Folder. I'm going to rename this scanner mouse for this example. Once I've renamed it, I'm just going to open it up, and to save the image, just click the Save button, and you're all set. On the bottom of the application, you'll notice that there are some quick file entries. By clicking on those, you can open up quickly into the file type that you'd like. For the first example, we'll open up our scan as a JPEG document. The next one, we'll open it into a Word doc, where you can click and edit and do whatever you'd like to the document that you have. The next, we'll bring it into a PDF. We have a text document where you can click on it, highlight it, and edit however you'd prefer. The next file is an Excel file where you can put your charts or reports quickly into Excel. You can make edits and changes through Excel quickly. And the last is a PNG file. Thanks for watching this Scanner Mouse video. If you have any other questions or concerns, please give us a call at 888-907-6274 or visit our website, halo2cloud.com for more information. Thanks and have a great day.